Alright, Scorpio, it is your turn for your love and relationship. Okay, and so... Um, let's see. Alright, I'm trying not to go off of the different signs I'm feeling, because I see a lot of signs, but I'm trying not to do that. It's just hard not to. Um... Anyway, Scorpio, the first card for the month of July. This is your July reading, so I hope you guys are doing well with these energies and stuff. We have the Chariot card. So, I feel like you're moving forward this month. You're in a direction, going somewhere. Um, maybe someone has your best interests at heart, I'm feeling, in this move, in this direction that you're going through. Maybe there's, um, I don't know, I was thinking, three horses, three mess materials. Maybe you're part of a group uh, with three people, you and another per or you and two other people. Um, you're making things happen. So I do feel like that's good. Um, and we have the lover's card, death card, temperance, and high priestess. Anyways, I do feel like when it comes to this month of July, there's maybe they're not the need to pick two sides I'm feeling um, I do feel like there's a lot of balance in relationships I also do feel like there's an ending of some kind and I do feel like you're connected with the death card as it is but I feel like there's an ending of a love situation or a love dynamic when it comes to maybe you feel polar opposite like there's two things to look at two situations maybe two people to look at and you're kind of like ending something to begin something I'm feeling or it's just completely ending something or lose ties with something I do feel like it is bringing balance so like I said there is a balance coming in for you for the month of July I also feel like you're probably at your highest peak right now for some reason um I do feel like there's something to look at in regards to maybe your environment, maybe something that you choose to look at or choose not to look at. Um, I am feeling Pisces energy with this. You could be dealing with a Pisces or someone that has a Pisces in their chart. Um, Anyways, I'm not getting anything else with that, but I do feel like there's a lot of decisions to make, two things, or two situations that you're having to look at. Alright, so, I already picked the cards for pretty much your home life, love and relationship, which Pisces, so I do feel like you are dealing with maybe some of the similar energies. Alright, so... With the full card, it is a card of caution to not just, I mean, it is to take chances and be risky sometimes. I also feel like it's about being more aware of your decisions and that they do have a big impact. So I do feel like there's a lot of new, new beginning going on in your environment. Uh, that's weird. Is like a weird creature. So it could be something involving children. Maybe you're pregnant. Uh, maybe you feel like you're in a fairy tale world. <laughs> Just by this card. Um, so a lot of new beginnings. A lot of new things happening. A lot of chances that you could go for on different avenues. Now, Pisces have the same alignment with their love and relationship. So I, I do feel like maybe listen to Pisces reading, but I also feel like, in regards to the High Priest, I feel like it's, it's more of control. It's more about power struggles, I feel like, with the Cthulhu card. Um, I didn't even say, but yeah, this is a Cthulhu deck that uh, my fiancé got recently. I think it's pretty cool, so I wanted to use it today. Um, 
I do feel like there's a lot going for you, but at the same moment, with this being your love card, I feel like it's more of a caution. Maybe you've done caution to the wind, and you're not really thinking it through, or maybe you are, but there's a need to be more proactive with your choices when it comes to love and relationship. I do feel like you're rooted in something, maybe long term. Um, so how are we going to put things things together so they have the same alignment to the emperor so maybe not so much control in a situation realize that everything may not look the way that you want it but i feel like it's about understanding maybe your limitations like what you can give and what you can't give and there's only so much you can do in a situation when it comes to the choices in life anyways i hope that resonates with one of you out there bye, -bye.